It's here, it's here, it's here. And I complained, or have been for six or eight months about my little tripod breaking. I never even looked one up because I figured 40 50 dollars anyway. Well, I got to look it and I looked one up and I was very, very pleasantly surprised. Cool little bag. Tax tag title out the door, $16 and 20 something cents. There is the little tripod, brand new. Same, it's same size as the one that broke, the one, my favorite one. Now it will extend out up to, I think it's five feet or something, which is handy if I ever need that. Now this one I can put in that little bag and take with me if I ever get to go somewhere. And it'll sit right here on the workbench like I used to do it. And I think that'll work out cool. I would show it to you with the camera on it, but that wouldn't work. <laughs> All right, let's do our talking from the shop on a cold, rainy day. Good morning. Talking from the shop. It is a, uh, from the first clip you'll see on this video, I think uh, two days later. Uh, pardon me. Folks, sorry I laid out on y'all for two or three days. I have not done much of anything the last uh, three days. I'm trying to get some stuff done today. I have not felt well. I'm not. Not a cold, not the flu, not the C word, none of that. But um, sometimes when I get a little bit too stressed out or do too much, I will get the old ticker that just, just doesn't feel right. And I can actually feel a pacemaker working when it does. When it's pacing, I can actually feel it. So I thought I'd just hang out and... Uh, Lay around the house a little bit for a few days. Feel some better today, but not a lot. It's late in the morning, almost lunchtime. I'm going to try to get a little bit done today. Uh, on the uh, knife making video. Now that was actually done last week. Uh, so that was back way last week. <laughs> last Monday and Tuesday, something like that. But uh, there's no particular rush on those knives. Uh, uh, the two that are sold, the owner told me, uh, got it bought them, is uh, not in a great big hurry. <coughs> Pardon me. So uh, I should have them done this week and ready to send out. I uh, see, what else? And Stump's knife, that'll be done pretty quick. <coughs> Excuse me. And that one's got a unique handle on it. I've used um, this material before, but uh, I'll show it to y'all when it gets all done. Or in the process of being done. <coughs> Excuse me. I hadn't coughed all morning until I turned the camera on. <coughs> but, uh, anyway, part two will be coming soon. And the sheath making on those will probably be a separate video by itself. <coughs> oh, sorry, y'all. Hang on. Let me turn this off for just a minute. All right, let's try it again. <clears throat> I'll try not to talk too much because I'll start it again. Uh, anyway... The rest of that video will be coming here this week. And I have another one planned. I requested a video about my little exhaust fan. A fan filter that I built. We're going to get on that one. 
let's see. Right quickly, the knives that I have left available, those two right there. J. Nell Skinner, uh, neck knife. This stag handle, this is a deer bone leg handle. All right, both of those are available. I had them listed for 75 each with a neck sheath only. And I said I would not mark them down, but I've got to mark them down. Let's go 65 each with a neck sheath. $5 shipping. I've got to get that's half price on the shipping. And if you want both of them, email me and uh, Mike can do just a little bit better. Not much. And I'm serious. But, I mean, that's the bottom line. Good little knives. And I could use the business. Now, I made a decision over the last few days also. At one time, I had I was an Amazon affiliate to where you can shop through my Amazon link and I would get a commission. Doesn't cost you any more. I don't know what you're buying and all that kind of stuff. A lot of people do this. And I decided to reopen my account because I had closed it. I got mad at Amazon for some of their excuse me, some of the products they're pushing and the political thing and all this. I know some people don't like them. Some people won't use them, but I use them because I buy supplies for the shop. Uh, we buy stuff for the house that, quite frankly, you just cannot go to town and buy with cash money because nobody has it. Uh, and if you order directly from a website, manufacturer website, you'll pay sometimes twice as much for the product plus shipping. Now I do have Amazon Prime where you know, most of what I buy, almost everything for the shop is free shipping. And shipping adds up, I'm telling you, it really does. So, um... It might be in this video, if not this one, the next one for sure, because I've got to get my son to help me with it. I've got signed back up, but I have to get the little affiliate link button put on the uh, on the channel, on the main page of the channel. <coughs> and, uh, and I'll put it in the description where to go to shop through my link. And I would appreciate it if y'all would do that. I didn't make a lot of money on that, but, uh, you know, 15, 20 bucks every now and then helps out a lot. Now, having said that, also on the main page, there has been for well over a year, uh, if you would like to support the channel, a PayPal donation button. I'm not asking anybody for anything. Don't take me wrong. But uh, that's already there. That's that is there and I'll link that with the Amazon thing in the description if anybody would like to help support the shop. Now I so feel sort of weird about doing that, you know, even to mentioning that. But I personally know people with YouTube channels that make fifteen up to thirty thousand dollars a month. Not a year, a month on their channel, and they mention it all the time. They've got Amazon links and they ask for donations, and you know, good for them. But, um, and I'm gonna get real with y'all. It seems like the bigger the channel, the more support they get with that kind of support. And there's a lot of us little guys out there that could, uh, use just a little bit. I'm never looking to make, you know, fifteen to thirty thousand dollars a month. It'll never happen. I know that. But um you know I get views is how well, you know that's how Amazon pays you. Subscriptions and views, mainly views. 
I'm averaging two or three hundred per video. And that averages every two months because they don't, unless you hit a hundred dollars a month ad revenue, uh, you don't get paid and it carries over to the next month. So I'm averaging about $55 a month. Now, it, if it wasn't for promoting my knives and selling a few knives through YouTube, I would not bother with it for that. It's too much trouble. You have to be very careful what you say and what you put up. But uh, there are a couple of other platforms out there besides YouTube. But, uh, you know, you got to get millions of views to make anything. If people can even find you. I mean, YouTube is the king right now. Maybe one day it'll be different. I don't know. But um, I'm going to try to tough it out the rest of this year. If it doesn't get any better, then YouTube will go away from me. I'll just have to figure out something else. But um, anyway, like I said, please don't misunderstand. I'm not begging anybody to go donate to my channel. All I would like is more views, more subscriptions. Once you go over 5,000, you uh, I think you get into a little bit different level on the algorithm and then it goes up from there. That's what I understand. So, um, and I try to do the same thing. I try to support a lot of different channels. And mainly late at night, early in the morning, that's when I watch most people. And I don't always comment, but most of the, you know, the channels I really like, I watch and I hit the thumbs up. That's another thing. If you take the time to watch the video, you don't have to make a comment. Click the thumbs up. That helps a lot. No thumbs up. You know, 200 views on a video, 10 thumbs up. Well, that's telling YouTube that 10 people watch the video, basically. It's not that much interaction. If you interact, hit that thumbs up, 200 views, 195 thumbs ups. That says that, you know, people are engaged in watching that video, no matter what it is, no matter whose channel it is. I thumbs up every video I watch, uh, unless it's just something ridiculous but uh, even if you don't like it click the thumbs down it's the same thing it says you know hey we watched it we don't like it you know like it or you don't like it and i do that occasionally but i don't get on there and make comments i thumbs down this video because i don't like this i don't like that i don't care because you didn't shave today well if it's because i didn't shave today click thumbs down but just Shut your mouth, <laughs> because I didn't, <clears throat> because I didn't feel like it, but, um, anyway, I'm just rambling, but, um, if you don't like the fact that I went back to being an Amazon affiliate, I'm sorry, but, um, you know, I'm really, and I am not kidding. A lot of people think I'm blowing smoke. I do not get a lot of stuff from viewers. Um, some of my closest friends do send me a lot of stuff uh, on occasion. Um, as far as like the manufacturer thing, the only thing I've got is the uh, the Placino rod rack that I did a while back. That's only that's the first and only. A manufacturer that has ever sent me anything except for the flashlight companies and I will not accept the flashlight thing because it's been overdone in my opinion too much of it but uh and some of them flashlights are a hundred dollars a piece I don't care how good they are I'm, I'll not pay a hundred dollars for a flashlight and I don't think y'all would either so it just it does it does not it doesn't compute, does not make the, uh, the grade in my book. If I'm gonna spend more than $100 for something that's gonna be a tool that I can use or something I can eat. 
you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, that'll do it for talking from the shop today. I'm going to do what I can today and tomorrow. It has rained and rained and rained also for the last three or four days here. Been gray skies, gloomy. We got some sunshine this morning, but we got another storm system coming through tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. High chance of tornadoes and all that kind of stuff around here. And uh, for y'all up through Appalachia and all y'all got a bunch of snow coming, it looks like. Cold weather and snow. And the cold weather. Yes, we have cold weather on occasion, but it just seems to be lingering and lingering right now. And cold for us is 30 to 40 degrees is cold. Because uh, we're just, we're not used to that kind of uh, temperatures. It was 38 one morning, the next morning it's 65. The next morning it's 40. I mean, it's just up and down, up and down. It seems, to, and it's always been sort of like that, but it seems to be getting worse here lately. I want to go fishing. I want to do some fishing videos. I'm set. I've got everything I need to do it. But I just cannot get a break in the weather. And I am not going out when it's freezing cold. And I'm not going out when it's raining. I know better because I'll get sick. But, uh, <laughs> Anyway, fishing videos are coming just as soon as I can get out and do them. And I will be doing some solo fishing this year. And I'll be doing some fishing with my buddies also. But um, anyway, I'll stop rambling and we'll get this video done. I'll see to get the, uh, the Amazon link thing posted on my page. I've got to get my son back over here and help me. Last week I had a... Um, the knife making video part one should have been out several days ago. But my video player thing in the computer, main computer at the house, whatever. I don't know anything about that stuff. It crashed and it, I couldn't get it to work. Because each clip I make, I don't edit a whole lot. But I, I look it over real well to make sure I didn't say something wrong or say something stupid or... Make sure there's not boogers in my nose, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, it crashed. Finally got, uh, he got a chance to come over and he fixed it and it crashed again. He told me what to do and I tried it and it seemed to work and it seemed to work all the way up till this morning when I made and posted that video. So uh, hopefully that thing will keep working. The computer is... In my opinion, it's not that old. It's only about, I thought, about three years old now, two or three years old. But as far as computer standards, it's um, way out of date. And to get it back up to what is going on now is two or three different, some kind of parts, gyros, head gaskets, whatever that goes into the thing. thing. But uh, they cost a lot of money. And... I'm not prepared to do that right now. <clears throat> so, anyway, I'll shut up. Thank y'all very much for watching. Thank you for your support. Email link is below. If you're interested in these, please let me know. That will help out for the next couple of weeks. And like I said, I've got a video planned for the uh, the dust collector fan. And part two of the knife making video will be out in a few days. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all for the support. Thank you for supporting my channel. A lot of y'all has been with me for a long, long time. Years. I thank y'all. Love all of you. I don't know how to do it without you. And I'll see y'all next time oh and this is the maiden voyage of the little tripod what do you think i like it